Today I'm going to show you how to create a beautiful circular design with a hidden function in Affinity Photo. Hello my friends and let's get started. So throughout the video I will share a lot of tricks on how to get better results faster so keep tuned in the video and this is the direction we are going in. We are starting with a clean canvas so I will delete all these elements and the first thing you want to do is to create two guidelines in the center of your canvas. So make sure that you can see the rulers. So here show rulers and make sure that your snapping manager is enabled in here and click and drag out a guideline until it snaps in the middle of your canvas and then click again and drag out another guideline and it snaps again in the middle. You see it turns red, the other one turns green. So now we have the center because we want to make a circular design. Okay, so here I have all my design elements. I already imported them, I already cut them out so um, they don't have a white background anymore. I will link all these files in my video description and we can get started right away with these um, uh, elements. So like before, I think I'm gonna get started by putting this nice bird, uh, bird here in the middle of our design. I can keep it the same size and then in the background we have this palm tree and you can see with the move tool and this is the first important trick with the move tool up here you can set the rot a rotation center. This is pretty important because we want to find the middle of the palm tree uh, stem not the middle of the palm tree image so to speak and then we want to drag uh, we drag it in the position that we want to rotate it from and then we take our rotation point and drag it to the center and this is why we need these guidelines to the center of the image. Okay, next what we need to do and that is pretty important, we need to make a copy of our layer. So right click on it and then duplicate or you can also go on control plus J as you can see here. So. Let's make a duplicate, it's in the right, it's in the same position. And down here, it is important that you have this transform window visible. If it's not visible to you, go up to view and go to studio. And there you have this long list and down here it says transform, make sure there's a hook next to it. And then one of these windows should be the transform window. The interesting thing that you can do down here is that this here R is for rotation, you can enter a mathematical equation here. So for example, you can say 360, which is a circle, it's uh, all the way around, uh, divided by five, for example, and this gives us 72 degrees. So now that we have done this and we need to have one layer and then a duplicate of the layer and we need to return the uh, we need to rotate the duplicate and now we can make more duplicates from this rotation and this will duplicate also the rotation again. So if I go control J you can see this makes copies, five copies to be exact. Okay, so now the thing is, and this is really important, this is the next tip to look out for, the next trick to look out for, I'm gonna hide all these other elements here for now and um, I am only want to have visible this flower down here. And now you could say let's put the flower here for example, put the rotation down here and then make a duplicate of the layer. Let's go uh, duplicate and say 360 um, divided, whoops, 360 divided by 12 for example. Okay. So it's rotating like this and now if I would do this you can see that it does it in the right position but it doesn't really do it in the right position concerning our palm tree. So you can see here it's directly behind the stem, here it's off center from the stem, also here, also here and also here. So if we want to have it in the same relation to the stem or to another object, we have to go another way. We have to do it differently to create a more complex, more interesting design. So let's delete this, what we have created. Uh, not, yeah, okay, this is okay. Good. 
I think I have deleted too much. Okay, let's go back. I only want to delete the flowers, sorry. There we go, only the flowers. So we have one flower left, as you can see. And now I want to combine them with our cocktail glass. So let's make the cocktail glass smaller. And again, I can find the center here. But what, what we want to do first is we want to combine it with the flower. So let's pull the flower up here so they are next to each other as a layer. And now, for example, if I take the flower, I make it smaller a little bit and put one here, for example, I don't have to use the same design as before. Let's duplicate this by holding control and clicking and dragging it. I can resize it again. So you can see now we have a nice design, a nice combination of these elements. And we could take even more elements, but I want to show it to you with just these elements. So now I'm going to select all of these three layers and I'm hitting Control G on my keyboard to create a group. So I've now created a group. All of this is one group now, as you can see. Now if I drag this over, Let's find the center, the middle of the glass, and then um, bring our center point down to the center again, our center rotation point, and control G to duplicate it. And now if I go 72 degrees again, it's bringing it over to the palm tree. So that's pretty important. Now I do it another three times. You can see it's on top of the palm tree, but of course we can select all of our layers, all of the groups that we have generated so far, and we can just take um, here one of the edges or this white point up here and rotate it any way we want to. You can see I can put it anywhere I want to. And the cool thing now is as you can see, the flowers are always in the same relation to our cocktail class and with the rotation they are also in the same relation to the trees because they are not equally spread out as um, 10 flowers around our palm trees but instead they are spread out as pairs of two um, and then a, a bigger a gap in between it so I hope this is easy to understand and now what we can do we can go back so let's go control set on our keyboard move this over here again let's take other elements on top of that so we have this nice um palm leaf i think it is i'm not sure right now what exactly that is and again we can rotate this and put it here and um, again move it into the group and we can take even more elements if we want to I think, uh -huh, I think I still have two groups. So let's delete one of those groups. Okay, and there is our leaf. I want to put it behind our cocktail glass. So I'm pulling it down here and you can see the design is turning out differently than before, but that is not a problem for us. That's quite okay. There we have the other flower. Let's also uh, put this into our group, make it a little bit smaller put it in the right place, maybe uh, maybe up here. And then we have this nice palm tree where uh, this nice, um, there's another leaf we have up here. So this is nice. I want to put this in our group too. Let's pull the group down a little bit so we can see better what we are doing. And I'm going to rotate this a little bit and then resize it. Um, maybe Maybe make it like this. One second. Let's make it like this and then duplicate it and do a second one and make it like this. I'm not sure if this is going to look good, but I'm, I'm trying it. Why not? There we go. Or maybe, should we put this behind the flower? No. Let's, maybe let's make it like, uh, yeah, let's leave it like this. That's okay. Okay, so now we have all these elements and they're spreading out a little bit more, but they probably look good as a rotation. So we can kick this back here, find the center point again of our cocktail class, not of our group. So that's important. And I want to show you another trick after I showed you this. So one second, um, let's duplicate this real quick. So we have our result. 
duplicate it, then enter 72 degrees down here. So we have our first rotation. Control J twice, th three times. Then we select all of the groups. There we go. And we have to take our corner up here and we rotate it. You can see we get a beautiful design uh, from that rotation and from the combination of all these elements. So that's pretty nice, actually. Uh, we have to get our bird back. There we go. That's pretty cool. That's pretty nice. It's different than what we had before, but that is okay. Um, let's put... Actually, I don't think we need the sun right now in this design. Okay, there we go. And now I want to show you another thing that's pretty important. Um, let's, let's make a duplicate of this uh, bird here. And what I want to show you, let's hide the other elements real quick. What I want to show you is um, there is a problem in Affinity Photo with the rotation because this rotation down here where it says zero degrees, this is an absolute rotation, not a relative rotation. So what that means is um, if I rotate this, let's uh, say like 30, 30 degrees, for example, let's make this 30 here. So now it's 30 degrees, but now if I want to um, if I want to rotate it another 70 degrees, if I would enter here 70 degrees, it would not rotate it another 70 degrees. It would rotate it um, to 70 degrees. So that's the problem. And this is a problem because if you want to arrange elements here, for example, you say, yeah, I want to have it like this as a starting point, you arrange it. Um, in your design and then you say yeah and now I want to rotate it you have the problem that you can't really enter the value down here as 72 degrees because this wouldn't work it would just rotate it over to 72 degrees so let's try this real quick if I make a duplicate you can see here um, make the center rotation down here set it to 72 degrees and it returns it over 272 degrees, not relative to the bird, but absolute to the rotation of the canvas. So that's not good for us. Instead, what we have to do is we are going to create a group with this bird. So control G and now the bird is in a group, but the group now is zero degrees. And that's really helpful to us because now we can take the center rotation point, pull it to the middle part enter 72 here and you can see now it works now it's going to 72 degrees relative to our um, not relative to our starting position but um, relative to the rotation around our um, uh, center point so let's duplicate this real quick you can see now if I enter here 72 and then I repeat this several times. It's always in the right position, which wouldn't work with the original rotation that we had from the bird here in the middle. So I hope this was kind of easy to understand what I tried to say with that. And um, so you can circumvent this kind of problem with the rotation. Okay, so this was the video for today. Let's go back to our um, original or for the for the design that I created. Uh, in this video and thank you very much for watching i hope you like this episode if you like my videos i do two new tutorials per week and if you want to support me even more head over to patreon where you can see my original files with all the layers and you can get feed feedback on your creations and also we can chat and talk about designs and tutorials that you want to see in the future so see you soon and thank you for watching bye